Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Platinum. Brandon's not here. Oh, I was gonna say, for a second there, we almost had a really normal intro. Uh, yeah, so... By our I, standards. I don't know if Brandon's gonna be any more in the series, just because uh, he, he just moved military base again. And he's in a very difficult recording situation right now. So it's not impossible that he'll be in more Platinum, it's just unlikely. Um, so... Me and Wanda Geek sat down, and we really planned out our game plan for the team. Because we're at that point in the game now where I, I came to it and I'm like, we're going to have a real fucking hard time with the Ice Gym. Because I, like, that one enemy with Ice Fang in the Water Gym kicked my ass. So, we've made some plans. We're going to have to get some new Pokemon. Porygon, My Pride, and Tropius aren't cutting the mustard. We're going to be removing them. Uh, we're getting a Machoke. We're getting an ice ghost whose name escapes me. Frost last. What was the last thing we were getting? Golbat. Golbat, right. Because we were trying to figure out what type coverage we really, really need. And didn't you say that we get opportunities to get both a Machoke and the ice thing coming up really soon? And Golbat, yeah, they're all coming up. Okay, so I shouldn't just like go to my PC and look for stuff. No, not right now. Okay. Uh, before we get started though, check your uh, Pokeballs. I want to see if you have any luxury balls. I do not know. Yeah, I have one. one. So uh, the reason I say this is because Golbat evolves with friendship. So mm. by catching it in a luxury ball, it would help it move along that way. Good idea. You can buy luxury balls somewhere. I can't remember where, though. Do we have a soothe bell? Uh, we should. Yeah, I think we should. It wouldn't be on any of these guys. Yeah. Okay. I'll check my inventory. Because I was thinking about that, too. That that would probably be a good idea. Just anything to make it like us faster. Uh, there there we go. We two of them. them. Okay. Uh, between that and the Luxury Ball, it probably wouldn't be that hard to get the Golbat to become a Crobat, then. Yeah. So okay. you're going to head left from here. Left. Okay, good. Because we haven't played in, like, a month, and I'm, I'm rusty again. Have I fought you? So we're... He's yeah. not a trainer. This is like the first route of the game. You have oh, to go to. Yeah, God, no wonder I didn't recognize it. Yeah, this is like the very beginning of the game. I remember this now. What's going on here? Is there it's just snow? a snowy tree. Oh, that's kind of cool. Is it because of the time yeah, of year? Because it's snow. No, it's a. Uh, Sinnoh uh, is actually a very northern region. Oh. Uh, which is also why there are very few fire types in the region. Okay. Uh, who was Rowan voice by me? Okay. Ah, oh, MDB, what timing? Those Team Galactic Scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. There's one right here. You've got a hell of a There's a legendary Dawn. Pokemon right next to me. He's got dumb blue hair. Are you sure it's not a Mirage? Should I talk to him? Ouch. Well, you can bump into him, right? What's with this old timer? Wait, if I bump into him, will it make this noise? It takes me a second to queue up. Uh, timing was wow. great, but you know. I think I killed Fragile him. Fragile as hell. It's our mission to stall you. Sorry, but we got to do our job. They just grab <laughs> both of them. They just grab like one leg each and then lay down. And I'm just fucked. That'd be incredible. You know, I get the feeling I can take as long as I damn well please. I'm sorry, does one yeah, have three Pokemon and one has two? Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, one has three, one has one. Okay, I I wanna I wanna take out uh, I think it's Krogunk is the one with one because I want to kill him yeah, immediately you, then. You can tell because he's got the higher leveled one. Okay, yeah, I want to take him out really early then so that I just have a numbers advantage. Well, Psychic's gonna be really good, but of course he would use Fake Out. Yay! Fake Out's a cool move. I like that one. It is. I imagine you could get a lot of use out of that. Porygon flinch, yeah, of course he did. You could have uh, used agility, so you can buff Porygon for, uh, for like future Pokemon on the one side, so that Netball could like dig one turn. Porygon can knock out the Pokemon. Good idea, a new yeah. One. Yeah, but that's a uh, very advanced tech. Yeah, probably not super necessary, especially considering we're ditching Porygon soon. So I think I might switch Porygon out for someone that I'd rather give experience to. Maybe Roserade? Yeah, Roserade's always good. Or, uh, I don't remember what level Tentacruel, Tentacruel is. We got Tentacruel quite recently, but he's been really good already. Because he's uh, been around the same level. I think he's like 37 or 38. Something like that. 
Golbat. Nice. I can't wait to get one of those. Uh, I guess just Dragon Claw. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess Psybeam would still do more. One shot. It's a huge level difference. Maybe. Oh, nope, pretty close. Come on, unnecessary crit. Oh. Want to get that bonus experience. It'd be amazing if crits gave you more experience. That'd be such a weird mechanic. I forgot about that Pokemon. That's a cool Pokemon. Is that a good one? I've never known if it's any good. Uh, not really. Like, it's strong physically and specially. Like, it's, it could be a very good mixed attacker. However, it's frail as hell. It's got really low defenses. Uh, its whole thing is it's supposed and to look like it has a witch's hat, right? Something like that. And then when it evolves, it becomes more mafioso-esque. Ah, okay. I, I always thought it had, like, a wizard or witch kind of um, vibe to it. Its counterpart, Misdravis and Mismagius, kind of took on the witch aspect. I didn't know that was supposed to be its counterpoint, a uh, counterpart. They kind of became counterparts in this game because they were introduced, they had evolutions that were introduced at the same time uh, and you'd find them in the same areas. They were also uh, version exclusives. I remember uh, the pure ghost, what was it called again? Um, Mis Mischievous? Yes. I remember that being cool, but couldn't you only find it near the very end, Gold and Silver? Because I remember finding find it, uh, I remember finding it in, like, the cave where you find red. And that's the very end. I believe... I'm, I'm thinking about it a little bit. I want to say that you could find Murkrow, at least, near Mahogany Town. But I can't remember where you find Mischievous. Oh, Surf hits my ally, too. I guess yeah, it makes so sense, doesn't you it? You can um, dig, and it wouldn't hit. Oh, you know what? I, I did use dig anyway, didn't I? Yeah. You just oh, can't, Tentacruel's you faster. Just shouldn't use, oh, well, well, I'm sure he'll be fine. It still we'll did a little more than I was expecting, but he's okay. Miserivus could be found, yeah, at Mount Silver. That is uh, that is end game. Yeah. I think it was like second from last room of the entire game is the only one you could find it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, which is a real shame because like the early generations had almost no ghost Pokemon. Like it's still a rare type now, but like back then there were almost no uh, ghost Pokemon and that one got added. You could only get it at the very end. Hound Hour was also another interesting one that was added in gold and silver, but could only be found in Kanto. What the fuck was that? Did you see that? I, mm. I'm tabbed out, so I didn't. I So you know how I surfed the first turn and turned a tentacle was faster? Was so Netball net faster this time? This time Netball was faster. Uh, God so damn it. So that means, that means it's a speed tie. Uh, God damn it. What are the chances of that? 50-50. Uh, mm. Well... I think I'm gonna go ahead and not use that this time. I'm just gonna like just Dragon Claw and, and Poison Jab, just overpower it. Good. If I were to surf that time, it would hit him. Even if he dug. Wow, that was really strong, actually. Is Poison Jab a high power move? It's 80 power, I wanna say. Ooh, that's Physical. higher than I was guessing. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Murkrow could be found at Route 7, 16, and 18. Route 7 was in Kanto, just between Saffron and Celadon cities. Uh, no item there? Okay. 16 was... Oop. Oh, that's... Uh... Wait, is that where it is? Man, I'm It fucked. says the northern starting point of Cycling Road in Kanto. All right, let's save Dawn. That face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the Windworks. Oh, God, that was years ago. That, oh, speaking of which, I want you to go back to the Windworks because you can get Flamethrower and Thunderbolt around there. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, I caught a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's with that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? Sorry, it's been years. Fine, whatever, I'll tell you who I am again. I'm Mars, one of the Team Galactic Commanders I vaguely remember. I'm also a very delicious candy bar. Ooh. So what is it? 
Are you some lovey-dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance. Not even a teeny one. You're all going down. God, that dress looks stupid. Oh god, the fucking cacophony of noise song. Uh, I mean, Netball's doomed, so I'm just gonna try and overpower. I mean, I'm sure it'll do decent damage, but... Netball's got pretty yeah, low health. Gonna... Yeah, that's gotta be it, right? Probably. Okay. I'll just, like, Hurry surf it or something. Um, yeah, surf works. So, is Tentacruel better at special attack or attack? Uh, I think off the top of my head, special attack, but it has decent physical attack. So, you could just use Poison Jab in some instances and have it be better than Surf. Okay. Okay, here we go. We oh, got our sets yeah. right here. There you go. Ooh, good special defense and speed. Yeah. Pretty good health, Tentacruel's, too. Tentacruel's pretty bulky and uh, is also very fast, so... Okay, Bronzer, that's uh, Steel and Psychic, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Surf um, would work on it. Uh, you could alternatively Leech Seed it with Roserade. Yeah. But you'd whittle it down that way. Ah, fuck it, Roserade, safe. It's not gonna do any serious damage to me. Like, it's got, well, or it's got it like a psychic move and I'm poisoned, but it also yeah, it sucks, does. so. I think Tentacruel would have been able to uh, survive for longer. Well, not technically, because uh, you're going to be healing back a lot of damage you're going to yeah. be taking. And also, as we learned from using Bronzer for like 20 episodes, he sucks. He sucks yeah. a lot and I hate him. He's just there to get in your way. Yeah, look at that. I got almost all my health back. Oh, he's... Oh, God damn it! No! 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 Wasn't it, like, three episodes I guess ago I said, like, don't worry, on the next session I'll probably try and use poison on a steel type again? God damn YouTube it! YouTube commenters, this is where you dislike the video. Oh, totally God kidding. damn don't it! That. That's not even a gag. I just fucked up. <laughs> I, for I totally forgot. I was just like, oh, Toxic, that'll be a good move. God fucking damn it. All right, whatever. I'm not losing to Bronzer. Bronzer didn't kill shit when we used it, so it's not killing me now. God, motherfucker. <laughs> Just give me some L. Top 10 anime betrayals. Is, are you saying this is my Bronzer? It's betrayed to me? Rosary, can you please stop Could slapping be. yourself? Jesus. I just want to win. I mean, Jesus was the one who said, turn the other cheek. Yeah. So, so then he can slap it. Slap herself. Yeah, his self rather. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God. How does this snap? It has no fingers. You know, how many times does this guy get a free shot on me and he still can't kill me? You got two in a row. It was. It's both Pokemon in this battle are just beating up Roserade. And he still can't Stop beat me. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Sounds like something that Brandon would say, especially in this game. I think he'd say, stop playing this game. Stop playing this game. <laughs> uh, per Purgly. Oh, the evolution of the cat. Um, That yep. is poison? Normal. Normal. It looks poison because it's... Uh, What's Purple. it called? Purple, thank you. I'm just gonna get my health back on this guy. God damn it! <laughs> now, unless Poison Point kicks in, you can Toxic this one. Yeah. I just wanna, I wanna get health. And also, you're dead. Is that gonna be it? Oh! Okay. Alright, I should be fine. I have a Rock type if I need that. And we all know Onyx is so good. Poison Jab. Oh. Oh, God fucking damn it. Oh. Of course, bar uh, Barrier is actually a better move probably in the long run, so ignore me. If I die in my sleep. That's a crit. Wow. That's not a crit. That was not a crit. That hurt. I mean, Barrier is a stupid move now. I probably shouldn't have done that. Yep. 
God well, if you had it. survived, then if you used it, it would have uh, allowed you to heal, and then you'd have buff defenses. Yada yada yada. Uh, earthquake, rock probably. Smash rock smash or dragon breath. Okay, I'll do rock smash. How much is this gonna do? Not a whole lot because of Onyx. Oh, okay. Huh, not a whole lot because of Onyx. <laughs> Dragon Breath could paralyze it. Come on, paralysis. I mean, I don't think I could possibly lose this trainer battle, but it could it could take a long ass time. Onyx, Jesus, pull it together, man. Well, that was unexpected. Mm, this hurts. What is with this battle of attrition? Come on. Just wake up and paralyze him. The longer we do this fight, the longer we need to put up with this song. Okay, now wake up. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure I've got revives if it comes to that. You're not winning. Oh. If it missed. Dragon Breath is 100% accurate, so it wouldn't. You, you useless, did it. you useless fucker. Maybe no, he, uh, he should have healed. I don't care. It's all right. Porygon's got this. He's psychic, and you put in his paint attack. <laughs> no, he's oh. normal, and he has psychic attacks. Oh, right, he is normal. I keep thinking he's fucking psychic. Um, Signal Beam? It could confuse, as could Psy Beam. Yeah, what's stronger, though? I believe Signal Beam. Yay! Crit. Or confuse, or both. Nice. Yeah. Not okay. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Finally, some uh, you. Citrus berry. <laughs> okay. Okay. For a second, I thought it was a confusion healing berry, and I was gonna say, what the hell are the chances of that? Hit yourself. Of course, it doesn't. Oh, Fucking... and and you hit a low accuracy move. Yeah, just use Awakening. Yeah, I'm never gonna use it any other time in the game anyway. Status healers? Uh, there. Never gonna use this thing any other time. Hopefully he'll just hit himself. Unless he gets out of confusion, which is how the AI likes to operate. Claw out your own eyes, thank you. Thank you. That did about as much damage as my attacks, oops. Crit. Your physical attacks. Come on! Okay, hey, at least, it missed, least it missed. Crit. Come on. Yeah, special attacks are doing a lot to it. Finally. You did it. You you survived. What a terrible fight. That's my other name. Again and again. Wait, how do you pronounce that? It's like. <coughs> <laughs> I guess yeah. I lost again. Oh no! Wait, how did we do that forever ago? It's like. I think it was a sharp inhale, and we realized after an episode, your lungs start to really hurt if you keep doing it. So the first win, so first the win works, and now Lake Verity that I owe you for. This shouldn't be happening to Team Galactic's commander. Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right. I accomplished my mission without a problem. I'm just narrating myself. Team, we're pulling out. The boss is waiting at the HQ. The Pokemon of the three lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grandstanding at Lake Valor, a cavern appeared here. It was the cavern where Pokemon Misprit, Misprite, one of the two, was asleep. Misprit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. What? I, I feel like this is all a euphemism. Saturn did some grandstanding at this particular lake, and that's what made these caves appear. And inside these caves, 
et cetera, et cetera. Cave stands for vagina. Oh, I feel like I'm misunderstanding what's being said in said here because the way I interpreted this is Mesprit appeared and Mesprit appeared to help Mesprit. What? Mesprit appeared to help Azelf, who is at Lake Valor. But then they got captured because they were like, oh, shit, Team Galactic. But then Team Galactic was all like, yo, no, we got these Pokeballs or something. Eh. Oh, shit, we're Pokemon. That means we get caught in Pokeballs and then they get caught in Pokeballs. And then they get captured, enslaved, and then they make like a red chain and like a, with a crystal. And that red chain causes like dimensional Pokemon to show up because it causes space and time Pokemon to show up. And dimensional Pokemon's like, no, fuck that. I'm getting way too ahead of myself. So anyway. Slavery? Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't surprise me when I'm holding a pot. Jesus. <laughs> Stop saying slavery just out of nowhere. <laughs> that, that worked out well for us. Yee, slavery worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. Oh, no. The show's taking a dark turn. A it hasn't dark, already. A dark turn. Whoa. Whoa, damn, slavery again. Oh, God, this show is fucking stupid. So now we've got them all. Misprit, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. Uxi? Uxi. Uxi, the being of intelligence. Now that we have them all, you can look forward to what plans Team Galactic has for them. Team Galactic... Team Galactic has done what Ash Ketchum could never do. They caught them all. I see. This also occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Thank you. I didn't understand the first time. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact I that know, you're unharmed. I was there. Yeah. The fact that you're uh, unharmed is reason enough to celebrate, but why- You're also unarmed. Now give me your purse. <laughs> but what about Godfrey? Dead. He's dead. <laughs> He's somewhere. <laughs> but what? Uh, what is happening at Lake- Acuity. Acuity. Is Godfrey safe? I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay, so uh, take Tropius to Flow Aroma Town, which is that blue town just above Jubilife. Yep, right there. Eh? No, you're good. No. Eh? Eh? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Let's heal. I'm saying go to Flow Aroma Town, which has a Pokemon Center, which he could have let you heal as well. Oh, I didn't know I could fly to that. I don't know why I didn't think I could, just because it's blue. Any red or, yeah, any red or blue areas you can fly to. Hold on, what's the difference uh, between a blue city and a red city? The red ones are actually cities. The blue ones are towns. Oh. Okay, so the, the difference is incredibly minor. Yeah, towns are smaller. Okay, so we're going to the Windworks? Uh, well, yes, we're gonna need to surf. Uh, I'll tell you where to surf from. But uh, you'll find Thunderbolt at the Windworks itself. Uh, you'll find Flamethrower nearby, but not at the Windworks. Okay, and we're going east. It's in the same general area, correct? Okay. Yay! Okay, so at this bridge, go ahead and surf to the right. Okay. Man, you look like a Whalmer. Yay! So this is, an, this is an item that evolves Electabuzz into Electivire, and right behind that, up there, that's Thunderbolt. Yay! Is there anything else back here? Nope, that's it. Okay, uh, now I just go back? Yeah, and this time surf to the left and stay in the water. Like, keep following the path. You'll end up at Fuego Ironworks. Okay, is that like an area you can only get to by water? By surf, yep. Okay. Man, those honey trees. I believe you can also find some new Pokemon near there. I could be Ooh, wrong. I hope. Um, we were thinking of getting a Heracross instead of a Machoke, but Heracross, holy shit, I looked up how to get it in this game. Slather honey on a tree, wait six hours, then you have between a 1 and a 3.5% chance of finding a hair across. Fuck that. That is horrible. So you actually can find Magnemite and Magmar in the grass outside of the Fuego Ironworks. Magnemite and Magmar are pretty cool, but I don't think, I think I want to stick with the team that we planned it. This way? Uh, yeah, just keep following the water. 
Okay. But yeah, keep going. I would actually advise Magnemite if uh, if Machoke doesn't end up working out because the steel typing could really help. Plus, because yeah. it's a special attacker and you have Mirror Shot as a TM, uh, that could also deal with the ice types, no problem. Magnemite's a cool Pokemon. I'm going uh, up or down. You're going up. Okay. The so in this grass, iron. you're able to find. Eh? In this grass, you're able to find that kind of stuff. Hey! Magnemite! I am Magnemite kick his ass. How much is it gonna do? It's fixed damage, but I don't know what his health is. Doesn't Magnemite have fairly low health? Uh, low-ish health, but really good defense. Yeah. It's special attack, special defense? Uh, mostly, yeah. So it's kind of like, uh, okay. Tentacruel in that regard. I could probably just use a Pokeball. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Um, his defense is higher than his special defense. Oh, okay. And his steel, which is really nice. Yeah, and special attack is through the roof. Magnazone has, let's see, 130 base special attack, which is actually really high, and 115 defense. 90 he, special defense. He has levitate, right? No, he has uh, magnet pull or sturdy, n neither ah. of which is really that good. I'm guessing they didn't give him levitate just because he'd have what only fighting and fire is weaknesses then pretty much all right i'll fight like he, one more he Pokemon does have in access here for now. he does have access to um magnet rise which is which lets you spend a turn gating the ability levitate pretty much and that lasts for five turns magmar is a cool pokemon i like magmar so should you i be going like magmortar oh yeah i don't like magmortar i've seen it before it doesn't look right um, so should I be going in the ironworks? Yes. Uh, I'm actually not sure if this is going to kill him or get really close to killing him, so I'm just going to go for it. I think it. it will kill him. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like it will. It's either that or Sliver. Ah, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Interesting right. that the two Pokemon you run into were the two that I brought up existed here. Oh, okay, so this is like a whole dungeon. Yeah, that Pokeball right there is Flamethrower. Okay, let's go for it. Oh, it's like remember that puzzle. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this puzzle. I, I remember having fun with this. I had it, like, memorized back in the day. Had to do this kind of puzzle. All right. I uh, can't have my bike in here, can I? No. No. There are um, some trainers in here, too, so you can get some experience. Sweet. Fight me. I work in the fiery fan. You're not working. You bet I'm hot and sweaty. Jesus fucking creeper Dylan. That that's some uh that's some ASMR for those of you freaks out there. I mean, uh, those of you well-respected people out there. Yeah. This guy is a lot lower level than me. I wonder if I was supposed to do this area earlier. Uh you could have done this immediately as, as soon as you got uh surf. Okay. In which case it would have been scaled to that part. You could be leveling up um, either Roserade or Tentacruel here, because yeah, Netball that's is probably a good idea. ahead of them. Yeah. And also, I imagine Netball just levels slowly in general, because pseudo-legendary. Yeah. He's only got two levels to go before he evolves. Really? I didn't know I was that close. I thought it was in the 50s. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's see. I do want to level up I th I think Tentacruel and Roserade, though. I thought it was like 50-something, just because it's a pseudo-legendary. I assume it's in the 50s. Actually, it might be an odd number. Okay, yeah, it, it is a, a weird number. It's 48, actually. 48? What a weird number, yeah. Calcium, was that attack? Special attack. Special attack, okay. Anything here? Yeah, protein! Hey. Hell yeah. That's sick. All right, uh, I am going... That was a loop, so this way. What an annoying noise. gets more annoying as I go. Okay, I'll fight that guy in a minute. Who the fuck would fall for going to this one, thinking it's the correct one? Fight me. Someone really eager. I guess so, Godfrey. Well, it's not often we get a visitor like you in the ironworks because it fucking sucks to work here. You get no work done. We have one forge 
and we're all just sitting around puking because we try to get to work. We had to go through a hundred spinny things. Okay, I get the feeling this matchup like is Amazon not a warehouse. smart one. Yeah, that's why people don't like working at Amazon. Magnet bomb. I don't think I know that's that move. move. It's weak as shit. That's because it's a physical steel move, and Magnemite is not a physical attacker. Mm. I believe it's also... It's basically swift, but physical and steel. It just missed when I was underground. That's because you can still miss something that is in the air or underground or ah. underwater. Swift hits things in the air, though, right? No, it does not. Oh, I thought it did. Huh. Let me double check that. I, maybe it's only in Pokemon Stadium or something, because I'm pretty sure I've done that to a Pokemon that was flying in Pokemon Stadium. I don't know if Stadium has its own rules, actually. Ah, th okay. Uh, so, Generation 1. Uh, Swift can never miss, even if the target is in a semi-invulnerable turn of a move such as Dig or Fly. But, cool. from Generation 2 onwards... It, it now bypasses accuracy checks to always hit unless the target is in the semi-invulnerable semi turn of a move such as dig or fly. Gotcha. So I was thinking of Pokemon Stadium 1 rules. Okay. Yeah. So we were both right. Awesome. That's the best result. That or you can say we were both wrong, which is the worst result. All right. Well, that was easy. Go to a whole war and then realize both sides were in the wrong. It's just like, oh, shit. Blew up half the planet for nothing. Yeah. I'm fairly sure that's most wars, usually. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, now's a good time to end the episode. On the next episode, everybody, we do the rest of the this place, and then we play the Fuego the Ironworks, where people are all hot and sweaty. Until next time, have a nice day. Pottery. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>